Hi, VancouverWeather.com, meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, September 26th. Quite a cool weekend here in the Mid-Atlantic region. In fact, it looks like it'll be a cool week with multiple chances for rain. We've had pretty much a very dry spell here in the, over the last several weeks, but it looks like we could make up for some of that this week. One frontal system pushes in from the Midwest later tonight, early tomorrow, with the threat for showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two. That front actually will set the stage for more rain later in the week, especially in the Thursday and Friday time frame, as it stalls out along the east coast. Multiple areas of low pressure will ride up along that stalled out frontal boundary zone, and it looks like, again, a decent shot at some uh, significant rainfall in the Thursday, Friday time frame. Cool weather all this week. Some days may not even get out of the 60s in parts of the I-95 Carter. I thought I'd look way ahead to the, almost the middle part of next week. This is from last night's Zero-Z GFS model run for next Tuesday morning, so it's more than an eight-day forecast. Quite interesting, however. And the European model tends to have a uh, tropical system that we may have to deal with as well. This is for next Tuesday, a week from tomorrow. Strong high pressure pushing off the northeast coastline. Looks like it could be a significant tropical system we may have to deal with somewhere along the east coast. This is way ahead in the speculation phase, but I think there are some reasons to believe that there could be some interesting tropical conditions next week. Not this week. This week looks like a cool week here in the Mid-Atlantic region with multiple chances for rain. Let's now focus in on the next few days. Well, we'll step through 24-hour increments using last night's Zero-Z GFS model run for the entire work week here. This is the forecast map for this evening, Monday evening. This high-pressure system was the anchor for the recent cool air mass over this past weekend. It shifts off the northeast coastline during the day today, and that will open the door for this frontal system to gradually move to the east into the eastern states the Mid-Atlantic region, later tonight and early tomorrow, a good chance for some showers associated with this frontal system, maybe a thunderstorm or two. Ultimately, that front just kind of stalls out near the uh, east coast, and that will set the stage for some inclement weather Thursday and Friday. Let's jump ahead now another 24 hours. And here's the forecast map for tomorrow evening, Tuesday evening. That frontal system pretty much stalls out off the east coast, low pressure still situated over the Great Lakes area. This kind of becomes a key player here in the Mid-Atlantic region during the latter part of the week. Low pressure over the Great Lakes, high pressure southeastern Canada keeping us quite cool. Again, some of the days over the next uh, several days or so could see high temperatures held into the 60s in much of the I-95 car. Let's go out another 24 hours. Excuse me. Well, now we're out to Wednesday evening. Strong high pressure here over southeastern Canada. And that's kind of a, a recurring theme here over the last uh, several days and the next several days. And that provides some cool air into the mid-Atlantic region. That frontal system, again, stalled out right near the east coast. That low pressure area over the Great Lakes slowly moving to the south and east. Wednesday could be... Uh, uh, mainly rain-free day, but cannot even rule out some showers, especially later in the day and Wednesday night. Lots of moisture sitting right there along the uh, uh, mid-Atlantic coastline. Well, here we go. This is the forecast map for Thursday evening. By this time, low pressure pretty much forms right over the mid-Atlantic region. Lots of moisture here. Strong high pressure to the north and east. Kind of like a nice wintertime setup with a uh, cool air coming down the uh, on the east side of this high pressure system right into the I-95 car, low pressure, and it will be a slow moving low pressure system generating some cool rainfall around here on Thursday and into Friday. Well, before we go to the Friday evening forecast map at the surface, I wanted to show you the Thursday evening upper level forecast map, again, all using last night's Zero-Z GFS model run. Strong upper level low sitting right on top of the eastern states. This tells you a couple things. First of all, looks like a slow moving system. Indeed, it will meander around for a couple of days. At least the threat for rain on Thursday and Friday, perhaps even on Saturday, can now roll out some lingering showers. Slow moving and deep upper level low looks like 
uh, given the look at the upper air feature here, it will uh, have the possibility of producing some significant rainfall here in the Mid-Atlantic region. And really, we can use the rain as, again, it's been dry over the last several weeks. Finally, it's back to the surface forecast map here. This is for Friday evening. Still general low pressure area in the Mid-Atlantic region. Lots of greens here, some blues showing up here. Still a moist pattern and still high pressure anchored to the north and east. Uh, again, the combination of, of high pressure up into the north and east with a vigorous slow moving upper level low means We'll have a chance for rain on Thursday, Thursday night, Friday, Friday night, perhaps even into Saturday. Looks like this could finally kick on out of here this weekend for some approving weather. But before we get there, we'll have multiple chances for rain. And then next week, we might have to deal with a tropical system here in the eastern U.S. So stay tuned to VencorWeather.com for the rest of the week. That's it for now. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.